Uh, good afternoon, one and all. Uh, I hope this uh, video finds you well. I have a, another model to show off today, and uh, here it is. Here, hang on, uh, let me get it stood up to provide the best possible view. Now, this, I am very happy to say, is the Hornby LNER J15, or Great Eastern Y14. So, uh, here's the um, history of this uh, real-life locomotive on the back of the box. Feel free to pause here if you want to read the whole thing. But uh, let's uh, get this out and see what it can do. Now, on the side here is all the uh, relevant information. Okay, double O scale or HO. Minimum radius, which uh, I never use anything below anyway. And yeah, that's uh, more or less all we need to know. So uh, let's get it out. Okay, here's a good look at the uh, model proper. Now, I always have trouble with this part. Okay, just a moment. Okay, it's coming out. Ah, that actually went pretty seamlessly. Oh, what's this? Okay, basically instructions, very important. I'll take care of that later. Uh, now let's get this model out of its uh, casing. Oh. Okay. Oh. It is the uh, bag of extra details. Set that to a side. And let's get this out. Hang on. Uh, apologies for the delays. Ah. Now, now this is, now this is nice. Right from feeling it, I can accurately this time tell that this loco has a uh, die-cast running plate. The dome feels die-cast, but the rest of the body doesn't. And uh, the tent is pretty light, which seems to indicate that the... Um, well, I'm blanking on the word, sorry. That the uh, motor is inside the locomotive itself. Now, if now the detailing is actually quite nice. If you look very close here, you can see a manufacturer plate number. You've got um, the fittings in gold. Oh, sorry, it's blurring for some reason. But uh, yes, you can see the um, gold fittings much clearly now, thankfully. And, um, oh, and there's the front windows. All very nice. Now, uh, I'm going to go set up my layout, and we'll see what this model can do. Be right back. All right, uh, here's a uh, sort of bird's eye view of my uh, layout. It's not the best layout. I thought I'd have more space to work with, but... Um, you know, this should be sufficient for what I want to do. So, let's see how the uh, J15 handles a curve. Oh, hang on. Uh, it doesn't want to seem to work. Okay. Come on. It's going, it's going. Yeah, it seems to be a bit of a slow one. Probably just needs to be run in, but yes, it does seem to uh, negotiate curves well. Let's uh, try some reverse action. All right. And we're back. Now, uh, in real life, the 
J15 or Y14, I believe was built not for express passenger services and also for freight work, so this might be a very realistic speed, but it's not much to write home about considering how speedy the um, Caledonian shunter I have is. And uh, while that might not be the most realistic, it, it is very fun. Okay, let's see if we can pick up some speed. Okay, yes we can. Oh, you have to kind of turn it all the way up, but yeah, we can get some speed out of the J15. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.